Okay, we're going to do a uh, walk around here of this 2014 Cadillac XTS. Uh, this one is a V Sport, which means that it has the new for 2014 twin turbo version uh, of the 3.6 liter V6 that was the standard and only engine in last year's XTS. Uh, the 2013 was the first year for this model. Uh, it replaces, well, it kind of fills in the gap. Uh, where the old DTS, which was a kind of a big old old man's boat, and the STS, which was sporty but kind of smaller than this, uh, used to be. Um, the, uh, the new engine makes 410 horsepower and gets this car to 60 in just under 5 seconds. It comes standard with GM's uh, all-wheel drive system and magnetic ride control. Uh, this car uh, is a real technological tour de force. Uh, let me show you some of the features on the inside. Well, first of all, on the outside, some of the detail touches. It has uh, LED door pulls, all four, which is kind of a neat little thing. And when you get inside of it, you'll see there's also LED backlighting under all the door panels, which is, which is very classy and pretty looking. But the big Buck Rogers event comes when you get inside the car. I'll turn it on, you'll see the full LCD display dash panel that's driver configurable. And the other neat feature, let me close the door so you can hear the dinging, uh, are the control surfaces, which GM calls haptic. Basically, they are finger touch now. You just slide your finger. You don't push anything, you just slide your finger. And another neat thing this, uh, this sucker can do is actually sense the presence of your hand. And I'll show you that in a, in a minute as the, the screen there will default and go back to its standard setting. And some of the, uh, the visible icons will go away. And when you push your hand near it, they'll pop back up. And we'll see if it'll do it here. It takes a little bit of time for that to happen. Maybe it won't do it. But in any case, you, you put your hand just like that now. You'll see and see how it popped back up. I didn't touch anything. It just came up like that. Um, you might be able to see the HUD in my line of sight. Probably not, though. Um, let's go outside now and take a look at the engine. Get that off door panel there. There's your HUD controls, by the way. And move on out here. LED lights. Very popular now. A lot of high-end cars have that. Excuse me while I pop the hood. Uh, one thing that's nice on this car, there's no prop rod. Uh, it does have a gas strut, though. GM seems to like those gas struts, and they're great at first, but they tend to wear out. And when they do, this thing will just plop back down. This V6 here is a really tight fit. And as you can see, it's got a lot of heat shielding all over the place because of the twin turbos. Um, this thing puts out a tremendous amount of torque, 369 foot-pounds at 1,900 RPM, which, uh, turns out, is almost exactly the same as the torque output of the 76 uh, Sedan DeVille's 8.2 liter, 511 cubic inch V8 engine. So what they've done is to approximate the torque and the easy effortless hand -o god pull uh, of a big V8 with reasonable gas mileage. This uh, gets uh, it's rated for 24 on the highway and 17 in the city, which isn't bad. But uh, I will tell you that if you drive this car or make use of the 410 horsepower, you're not going to get 24 miles per gallon. Uh, I averaged high teens, which is still pretty decent. Um, Cadillac, however, does not offer, at least at the time of this review, uh, in early December of 2014 anyway, um, any other option such as BMW and Mercedes offer. Both of them uh, offer diesels and hybrids. In fact, the, uh, the new Benz E-Class, which is a smaller car than this and has a, has a much tighter back seat, but nonetheless, uh, it comes standard now with the diesel, and that diesel gets about 40 miles per gallon, and you can also get a diesel in the BMW 5. But still, um, for the money, I know that's a cliche, this is a, this is a pretty impressive car. This, thing, uh, this particular car is loaded with pretty much every option that you can get on the XTS, uh, and it's still not quite $70,000, um, which for perspective will, will, is about four dollars to $5,000 less than the base price of the base trim uh, 7 Series uh, and Audi A8, which are roughly the same size on the inside. In fact, in some cases, they have a bit less interior room than this car. And this car has a lot more room than the mid-sized cars that it's, competitive, that it's uh, price competitive with, 
like the BMW 5 um, and uh, the Mercedes E and others like that. Anyway, uh, the full review is over at epautos.com and we will catch up with you next time.